Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm Amanda Fowler of Inspire and Inkin and in today's video we're going to make this quick and simple card. It's very quick and simple but it's a really lovely technique. So let's get started. I'm using two stamp sets today. The first one is Serene Silhouettes and Petite Pears. I need an acrylic block, four markers. I've got Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral, Old Olive and Marina Mist. An ink pad in Early Espresso and some layers, Whisper White layers and Old Olive Card Blank. So before I get started, I'm just going to show you how to refill your markers. Now I do have a separate video on refilling your markers, but I think I'm just gonna run over it for you now because you need your markers to be quite inky for this technique to work. So this is what you do. You need a bottle of reinker and a piece of kitchen roll or tissue. And with the markers, there is a thin white line which denotes the fine tip and then there's a thicker white line which denotes the brush tip and it's the brush tip that you're going to be working with. And all you're going to do is grab hold of the brush tip and take it out. Now the ink for our markers is exactly the same as the ink for our ink pads. So the re-ink bottle will work in both. And then what you want to do is put in a few drops in this open end. Normally I do about four or five and just sort of tap it down. So it goes all the way in. And then what you're going to do is pick up your tip again and pop it, pop it back in and push it back in. And that's it, done. It's really, really easy to do. Now, just as a reminder, all of our markers need to be stored horizontally like this. There is a central reservoir that keeps both ends of the marker um, wet. So you don't want to stand them on one end because that means one end will dry out. So store them, store them this way. What I tend to do, once I've refilled it, is just tap it a little bit and then I'm going to store them like this. So I'll just move that ink out of the way. Okay, we're gonna be using this silhouette stamp. Can you tell? This is a well-loved stamp. In my world, a well-loved stamp's covered in ink. Very well-loved. And what I'm going to do is put it beside the acrylic block so that I can colour my block with my markers. Now this is the card and the markers here, uh, the colours are what we're actually going to be doing. So I just use this as a reference guide to make sure I'm putting the colour in, right, in the right place and also that I've got enough. So I'm just going to scribble onto the acrylic block and it sounds like there's a mouse in the room because it squeaks. I don't know, can you hear that? <laughs> and the daffodil. And don't try and be neat with this. The more random it is, the more squiggly it is, the better it looks. That's what I'm sticking with. It does, honestly, it looks better. So there we go, that's the marina mist bit. Now you're going to get your piece of Whisper White card and then you've got to give this a magic huff. Now what I'm going to do is blow really hard onto the acrylic block and what that does, the moisture in your breath, sounds a bit gross doesn't it, but the moisture in your breath wets the um, ink, re-moistens the ink, so then it'll stamp. So here we go. 
and then I'm gonna stamp that down. Now press it down really well and just hold it, hold it there. It's gonna be bitty, it's going to be broken. That's the effect that we're going for, okay? Tortoise was a really quick card, didn't I? So, early espresso ink. Ink up that. I'm going to stamp right over the top. Now, whilst this is still inky, I'm not re-inking it. Magic cuff again. I'm just going to re-stamp it on the inside. So you can see that's the, the front of the card and that's for the inside. Now, oops, I need that in a second. There is enough ink on this block for me to ink again on the inside. So I'm gonna magic cuff again. And then stamp it down. There you go. That's fab on the inside. And actually, you will get a third as well. So if you want to decorate your envelope, there'll be enough ink on that to decorate your envelope as well. Now, I'm going to get a Best Wishes stamp. I'm just going to ink that up. Um, pop that down. And then, get my trusty Tombow and get this card assembled. The trusty Tombow isn't very trusty today. All right, should we get another one? Yeah. They do run out eventually. So, <laughs> there we go. So that's the front. And that is for the inside. So there you go. So there is your card with your marker block technique on the front. Here's the original one. I decided to do it on the other side so you can just see, see a slightly different variation. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Did you wish to purchase any of the products that you've seen today or to get some more creative inspiration, why not pop over to my blog, www.inspiringinkin.com. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.